Meanwhile, while my last incredible calendar was uploading onto YouTube, I was in the process of another huge calendar breakthrough, making the video for my November 2010 calendar, like, almost five and a half years afterwards. Now, my November 2010 calendar was... Shadow the Hedgehog! Okay, so, yes, I know Shadow the Hedgehog is one of the least popular Sonic games in the world. But, for me, it, I mean, okay, so, I think I understand why, I mean, people were familiar with Sonic the Hedgehog games, and to them, Sonic the Hedgehog was about speed, but, to me, Sonic the Hedgehog was just about having fun, I mean, yes, this was, like, the second Sonic game I owned, and, like, the third that my family owned, so, maybe that's why my expectations are different, but, you know... So, yeah, Shadow the Hedgehog, you know, I mean, the last Sonic game I had owned was before I bought Shadow the Hedgehog. I bought Shadow the Hedgehog in, like, the summer of 2009. My dad was living in Montana, finally, and that was before he left. But, you know, he was living there, and it was all exciting that we had had, you know, I was going to the game store, I was going to buy a game, and I saw Shadow the Hedgehog, it was between that and the Shrek game, the first one, because I had owned the Shrek 2 game, but I bought Shadow the Hedgehog, and, you know, Sonic to me just wasn't so much about speed, it was about having fun, and so, I got Shadow the Hedgehog, that was one of the first Sonic games, and I found it to be really awesome. Okay, so, like, Shadow the Hedgehog is a game about Sonic, it was a... I don't consider it a spin-off. I consider it part of the main series because of how the storyline works out. But it's like, you know, Shadow is there and then Sonic, he like has no memory, which is a really cool concept. And, and then he like has to find his memory while finding the Chaos Emeralds. I hadn't played Sonic Adventure 2, so I had no idea about Sonic, Shadow's past. And then, you know, each time you play a level, you have certain ways you can play the level, and depending on how you play it, turn it determines how the game turns out. And so, it was like a choose-your-own-adventure game, and, you know, it just really was exciting as far as storyline, and even the levels were exciting. I mean, because to me, Sonic was in about speed, like I said. So... Yeah, it was just about having fun. I mean, speed was an important part of Sonic's character, but it wasn't all it was about. So, yeah, I could enjoy Shadow the Hedgehog just that way. So, the theme colors were black and red. That's basically to symbolize Shadow's colors, and um, this X spot here, this X, was sort of inspired by the stripe, but I decided to do it in both directions. And so it turned out into an X. Don't know if that's really important. But yeah, I just chose the black and red theme color because of Shadow. And right here, there's no background back there. I just decided to add pictures here. And then there was no formal background. You know. Okay, so yeah. Shadow the Hedgehog, I played it a lot at my dad's camper when he was there. It was like really cool. And, uh, unfortunately, though, like, they're depressing points in my life, because, like, you know, I wanted to spend some more time with Dad. I hope it wasn't for the game. I, I think it was to spend time with Dad, though. And, yeah. And so, basically, um, here is Shadow in a computer realm, which... That was actually one of the most awesome zones in the game, Shadow being in Digital Circuit and Mad Matrix, because, you know, as far as Shadow the Hedgehog is concerned, I mean, Sonic has never been into a computer, and Shadow got the chance to be in a computer, and Sonic doesn't get to be in a computer, but Shadow gets to, so 
Sadly, Sonic gets to ma miss out, but, you know, Shadow is in the computer, and it's a pretty cool place, and then he gets to go along these passageways. So yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Here is Sky Truth. It is one of the places with the... It, like, has one of the best musics in the entire game, and so, yeah, it's like this flying sky city, and, um, yeah, and Shadow ends up there, and, but it's the level where he has to either help Black Doom or Eggman, or Black Doom's a bad guy, Eggman's a bad guy, but, you know, you basically don't have much of a choice, or Shadow can help himself, but the good guy side is helping Eggman surprisingly, and all that. Um, here is one zone that is really hard to play. Um, it's like a, an amusement park carnival kind of zone. Um, if you want to help Tells, which whoever's playing this game in this picture is helping Tells, you have to find 400 rings and that's really hard. I mean, even though getting hurt, you only have to lose a few, but this is one of the very few levels you can help tell, so sort of depressing that, you know, you only lose 10 rings by getting hurt, but still, it's like one of the harder levels to help tell that, it's one of the harder helping the good guy side, and Tells is one of my favorite characters, other than Shadow, so, yeah, it was sort of sad. Here is a picture of Shadow against the background, I'm not exactly sure where this plays into the game. I sort of wonder if this is even part of the game, but since he's in the same pose as this one, I'm guessing that it probably is. Um, it's not in any of the other Sonic games I've played, and yeah. So here's Shadow in the same pose, but according to a different background and the reverse picture. Now here is Mad Matrix, I think it's called. And no, this has nothing to do with the movie Matrix, although which I haven't seen, but they both take place in a computer, I guess, so... This is actually a pretty cool view of the whole location. Here is Shadow on the Space Colony Arc. This is one of the levels where gravity reverses, and... Sort of like King Castle and Sonic Heroes. And yeah, also speaking of Sonic Heroes, like, which I got five years before this game, which... might have been part of my opinion on why didn't dislike Shadow the Hedgehog so much that, you know, I wasn't so familiar with Sonic, so I have different expectations. This is one of the levels that reverses gravity, but if you want to reverse, but like, I guess the more cool way is actually helping the bad guy, but you don't like helping the bad guy, but if you want to go the cool direction, you have to help the bad guy, so, yeah. And then, here is actually Sky Troop. Shadow is holding a gun and everything, he's gonna shoot some bad guys. Hopefully bad guys, not good guys, cause that's the to shoot the good guys in this game, but, you know, if you wanna unlock all the path, you sort of have to be a bad guy, which you think. Although, I don't know if you have to destroy anybody, depends on what routes you take, you might be able to reach all the end. No, you can't. Cause then, one of the last levels is, um, is you have to, choose to help the bad guys or the good guys, which is destroy all the good guys or bad guys, so that's a little depressing. But, you know, Shadow is holding a gun, hopefully he's destroying a bad guy in that picture. This is actually on a level very similar, but it's at, you know, it's, it's sort of the same temple zone, I think, but it's at a different location, like it hasn't lifted into the sky yet. So, yeah, this is where it is laying in the canyon, this is where it is in the sky. And this one has a better music. Okay. So, here is a picture of Shadow also. And uh, that's a pretty cool picture. I guess there's glass breaking in the background, but I'm not sure. And here is another Sky Troops picture. Now you can see what I mean by Sky Troops being up in the sky. This level was a hard level, because... You know, you have, want to help the good guys, um, but then it says that, it said something that I thought meant that the spaceship could not be attacked by guns, and guns didn't work on this, but 
that's the only way you can destroy it, by destroying the shield with guns, so, um, that's how it works in this game, and so, that sort of, like, you're like, wait, I'm not supposed to use these, but after you figure out that that's the only way to destroy it, you know, which takes a while to be like, oh man, I didn't complete the game like I was. I didn't complete the good guy round, so I have to go back down, so. That's how I ended up in Mad Matrix in my first round, rather than an all good guy path. I just went for the ring at the end. Which you don't have to destroy any good guys to get to the ending of that one. Here is, I think, a temple zone. I think this is a level you get to help Rouge out. Um, not a, It's one of the better good guy levels, but they're like three jungle levels, but this is one of them, and um, this is the only one that has a temple, I guess. So yeah. Here is that other zone, like sky troops I mentioned earlier. See, there's a tornado that can pull shadow into it. And here is, I better not spoil it too much, but yeah, you can probably picture what that is. Um, here is Shadow in a forest before he's, like, if you, depending on what level you created, the background's different if you just completed, um, the castle one, or instead, the, like, the same exact cutscene except with a different background color, which would be a more reddish sky or pinkish sky, something like that. Um, this one is the lead on from... A jungle zone, but this is in the jungle, but, you know, Shadow is in the jungle-like place, and, um, Black Doom pulls him back into time where he gets to see one of his memories. It's pretty cool. Um, so yeah. Um, last month's theme is the Incredibles. You know, apparently it's spelt right, but for some reason it doesn't look right, spelt right here, but, um, yeah, unfortunately, like, when I did this, I just didn't think that the pictures were working out that well. You didn't mean I want to add any more pictures, but like, it just wasn't working out. It didn't look cool, so I guess I didn't, just didn't add the last month in the picture. Or maybe it was just too red hair to do that. And I'm gonna close this out. I'm gonna install whatever that was. Toy Story 3 in stores and Election Day. I was too young to vote, but you know. Somebody else voted. Um, don't remember who's running, but this was 2010, so it wasn't a presidential election. And if I did know who was running, I probably wouldn't say who I voted for anyway. Because, you know, this is not a political channel. And if I wanted to talk politics, I'd probably go over to my complicated philosophy channel. Um, so yeah, um, Toy Story 3. I, this was like super exciting and, um, you know, I actually shoveled sidewalks so I could afford Toy Story 3 and I got it and, you know, my mom drove me to Walmart. I wanted to get the one with the digital copy because it had extra shorts on it, including Tokyo Mater and that was sort of a funny short. Um, so yeah, um, Sonic Free Riders in stores. Sonic Free Riders is like this game. I hear a lot of people didn't like it, but as you can see by this calendar, I like a lot of Sonic games a lot of people don't. So, yeah, I don't even know. This calendar, I like a lot of Sonic games a lot of people don't, so, yeah. Her is Megamind in theater. And it says it's not spelt right. I'm gonna add this to dictionary. Megamind is a DreamWorks film that looks sort of funny, and so I was looking forward to it to be in theaters, um, sort of. But I wasn't gonna see it in theaters. But it's like this one DreamWorks animation film, and so yeah. Um, end of daylight savings. This is where you get to sleep in an extra hour the next day. But it's Sunday, but you probably go to church if you go to church on Sunday, so, you know, you don't get to sleep at all. Here's Veterans Day, I guess. Yeah, I guess people celebrate Veterans Day, um, 
I don't know any veterans that well. I think my grandpa was a veteran, but, you know, when this might, yeah, he's a veteran, I think, so that might make sense. Um, but I don't talk to him that much. Sonic Colors and Cats and Dogs 2 in store. Okay, so, you'll probably hate me, but I didn't care much for Sonic Colors that much. It was just a story. The story wasn't that exciting, but the gameplay's pretty cool. Remember, it's not so much about speed for me. It's about the platforming and the story and, you know, I have a different opinion, I guess. Bible Sunday. I don't remember exactly what that was for. I don't remember any Bible Sunday, but uh, because you go to, I mean, isn't it all Sundays like you go to church? But that must be a special day. I'm not sure exactly what it was about. Tangled in Theaters. This is the Disney version of Rapunzel, if you've never heard of it. Um, yeah. Um, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is the day you get to start listening to Christmas music and you get to eat a lot of food. Notice I did not put Black Friday. But... I could put Red Friday, because, you know, this background's red and the other one's black, so yeah, it's just a pun. You probably don't like it. Okay, so, yeah. Um, yep, but I don't care about Black Friday. Okay, so that's about all there was this month. Um, also on the 16th, A Christmas Carol on DVD. Um, I think the year before, Disney had created a Christmas Carol movie. And so it was finally coming to DVD, you know, to be with the other release day. I mean, to be with closer to Christmas, I guess. Yeah, so that's what it was. Um, and so next month, theme. Santa Claus 2. So yeah. There was my Shadow the Hedgehog calendar, which, yes, I'll stick by the idea that Shadow the Hedgehog is a cool game about memory loss. I just don't like how every time he falls into the pit, how he says that word, then I, you know, that one word, and so, yeah, mute. Whenever you, I play it, I have to turn it on low, because I don't want to hear that. Not that I can play it right now anyway, because, you know, my, I don't have an Xbox 360 hard drive, and my Xbox is in Montana. But you know, that's my Shadow the Hedgehog calendar. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching again.